What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you the best in-game settings for OSU, in order to improve your gameplay and reduce input lag. Open up your options and here, simply set this to your preferred language and check these two language settings. Next, under updates, I prefer to set the release stream option to stable, which is reducing lag on my end, but some players prefer to play on cutting edge. I recommend playing around with both to see what works best for you. Next, set your frame limiter to unlimited, which will in turn also reduce input lag. When enabling the FPS counter, you will see how many milliseconds your input lag will reduce. Turn off compatibility mode. In case you experience lag or stutter, then enable the reduce drop frames option. And keep the detect performance issues option enabled. Set the resolution to your native monitor resolution, which in my case is 1080p. You should also play in full screen mode. I have set it to borderless to make it easier to record. Setting it to full screen mode will in any case reduce input lag. Under detailed settings, I suggest leaving the sneaking sliders and storyboards option enabled. All of the other options can increase lag if you are playing on a low end PC and can also be distracting for some users. Your main menu options can all be set to personal preference. In case you want to see your custom background, then I suggest setting the seasonal background option to never. Disable to show backgrounds option. Set the background dim to 100% or set it lower, but it can be distracting for a lot of players. The other general settings can be set to personal preference. I like to increase the score meter size to about twice the size. Under Volume, I usually set the master volume to around 80%, but in this case it's at zero, not to distract you and myself while recording. The music volume is set to around 50% and effect volume to 80%. Also, disable the beatmaps hit sounds option when there are annoying custom hit sounds. I suggest setting the universal offset option to 0 milliseconds, as this will compensate for your delays. In case you know what your actual offset is, then you can tweak this option to your liking. Set a skin to your preferred skin, select to ignore beatmap skins if you prefer not to see those. Use the skin sound samples, as this can be a big part of why you might be using a skin. Use the skin cursor, again if you prefer to use it, otherwise you can use the same custom cursor if you like. I like using the regular cursor size and enable the Use Combo Color as Tint option. As your sensitivity, I suggest getting used to a value which works best for you and your setup. This can be adjusted when starting out and if you're using a tablet, then try to stick to 1x, which should be the best option for you. Enable the Raw Input option to reduce mouse acceleration which is not caused by you, set confine mouse cursor to never and enable mouse buttons in play mode. And for your keyboard bindings, I suggest taking your time once to bind your keys and sticking to your changes. Lastly, I suggest disabling the show notification pop-ups instantly during gameplay option. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.